Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will be unboxing my final piece of equipment that I purchased. I ordered it from BTO Sports instead of Motorsport because BTO Sports was having a killer deal on it. A normal helmet like this would cost around $500. I got it for around $250. They were having a really good discount. This helmet comes in three different styles, polyacrylate, composite, and a carbon version. I got the composite version. It had a great deal. Couldn't go wrong with that. The polyacrylate version, you can get for around $270. The normal composite, you can get for for around 500 and then the carbon you can get for around six to seven hundred the main differences between the three is that they're made out of a different material for weight reduction obviously the polyacrylate's the heaviest then composite and then carbon being the lightest i got my helmet drying on the truck right now it's right there i used it in my previous video to show the range of motion that it had on the neck brace that i got it was a little dirty i do apologize for that i was kind of embarrassed so i went and cleaned it for this side by side comparison however this is the last piece of gear in my layout i waited till the end because this is the one that I'm most excited about. So I'll go grab that helmet. I'm gonna grab my old helmet. I'm gonna grab the goggles and I'm gonna grab the helmet box because there's gonna be a lot in this video that I'm gonna be doing. Super stoked. Let's get into it. This is my showy. Really nice helmet. My dad got it for me for Christmas one year and I loved it. I've had this helmet for about five years, but I think it's time for an upgrade and showies are a little bit heavy. So I'm hoping that this helmet is just a little bit lighter so that way it adds less strain on my neck while I'm riding. I'm gonna go grab the Troy Lee Designs helmet now. All right, grab my knife real quick. We got the helmet right here, and we got an extra visor that it came with. All right, in the bag, it's already way, way lighter than this. This feels, I'd say about 25% lighter than this one. Before I get into the helmet, I wanna check out this visor, see what it comes with. Wow, what a beautiful color blue. That is sick. One major difference that I noticed right off the top, on the showy helmet, I got a set screw right here on the top. On this helmet, it's underneath the visor right here, so you could put a GoPro right on the front instead of farther back. So here we have a couple tags. One thing that I really want to talk about this helmet is that it's got the MIPS system, which is a really cool design where there's a shell inside the shell of the helmet which lets your head pivot and turn and make a bunch of motion without it whipping and giving you brain injuries when you crash. Never had a helmet like that before. I'm not sure how it feels compared to a standard helmet, but I'm really interested in it and that was one of my key points of buying this helmet. Looks like it comes with some foam that you can stick in the vents. Got some set screws for the replacement and then it's got its own manual. And here we have the helmet. That is sick. What a nice looking helmet. Super clean, super light. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up these visor screws and I'm gonna push the visor all the way up. Check that out. All right. All right, so right off the bat that I noticed, the top of the helmet's really nice and smooth. The visor is really nice and sturdy. It's got plastic set screws just in case if you crash, it'll rip your visor off instead of whipping your head around. What I wish Troy Lee Designs did was I saw Fox has these magnetic visor holders that with enough pressure, the visor snaps off without damaging it. I do like that Troy Lee included a separate visor, but they could just, get rid of this and put the magnetic set screws in there just to prevent that from happening. The front of the visor is really aggressive looking. I'm not a fan of the snout that Troy Lee Designs has, 
but it looks really, really cool, not gonna lie. So underneath here, you can see that yellow liner on the bottom. That's your MIP system itself. This helmet is also rated for the eject system, which does not come stock with the helmets themselves, but it's a really cool system to help paramedics safely and easily remove the helmet from your head without having to cut it off, especially when it comes to neck injuries. So comparing the two helmets side by side, they're about the same height. This one might be just a little bit longer. They both have generically the same shape. This visor is a lot wider than this visor. Like I said earlier, there's a lot more exposed up here than here. So for these, I had a couple off-road lights for when I did 24 hour races, but you can see how far back on the helmet I had to put them. Here I can stick one right here, right on the front, and it's already two to three inches more forward than the showy, which I really like. I hate that the tab is right here and you have to put GoPros so far back. I will be making a video on how to attach a GoPro to your helmet. I have a really cool method of how to do it and I'll walk you guys through that in another video, so stay tuned. I think the Shoei has a lot more of an aggressive front to it. I think it's super neat. However, the visor does stick out a little bit farther too, so pushing it upwards all the way does not get that visor out of your view, I think. This visor is a little shorter, and I can already see just by the way it looks that it will not be interfering with my vision. I'm not here to bash Shoei by any means because I really, really love this helmet. I just wanted a helmet that would kind of match my gear a little bit better, and this is definitely the one. I think that this is a great investment because it's a lot lighter. I'm really excited to be wearing this while I'm riding. So other than that, these helmets are both really great from what it looks like. I'm really excited to put this one through the test. And this one, like I said in my previous videos, I'll either be holding on to this or I'll be giving it to somebody who needs something. It has been through better days but I'm sure somebody would appreciate it, especially since it's a showy. So this will be going to somebody who, who needs it at a local track. Back to this helmet. I'm gonna go grab my goggle bag and I'm gonna go ahead and try on the goggles and see if they fit this frame a lot better. Here's my helmet bag. Here's my goggle bag. And I also did up grabbing my jersey to compare the color right here. My initial reason for purchasing this exact color scheme was so that way this helmet can match this light blue here. And as a side-by-side, -side, it looks very, very similar. I'm really, really happy that it matches at least a little bit. This one is a little lighter than this, but I think this setup is gonna look super sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and put this away and then try the goggles. Put the helmet back off to the side, grab the goggle bag. I don't really like this color scheme too much, but like I said in my previous video, I did order another pair of Armegas that I'll be doing an unboxing for. They're all white with red lenses. I think those are gonna look super sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the helmet. That looks absolutely sick. These goggles fit almost perfectly in this helmet. You can see the out triggers right here. They got like a quarter of an inch on both sides where they're short, but these goggles fit this helmet beautifully and they look absolutely sick. I'm absolutely in love with this setup. Can't wait to get the different color, but for now this one will do, especially since it matches the neck brace. I think this setup's gonna look really sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those goggles off for now. Now let's see how it fits inside the helmet bag. And just like that, it's put away. I'm just gonna take this visor and stick it back in the bag that it came in, and I'm just gonna slide it in the back here or here, just so that way it prevents it from breaking. Pull this out again, and I'm gonna go ahead and try on this helmet. I'll get back to you guys. All right, let's see how this helmet fits. Wow, what a great fit. This helmet feels super light. It almost feels like I'm not even wearing anything. I just feel a little bit of pressure behind my head, but that's the padding, but it's almost like I'm not even wearing it. Super, super nice. The straps on the bottom feel super comfortable when I buckle it in. 
Wow. I think the helmet looks really cool too. Let's see how the goggles fit. That is absolutely insane. They feel super good. I can't even see the frames no matter how high or how low I look. It is absolutely sick. It's super, super comfortable, way better than my previous setup, and it looks really, really nice. And that right there is the SE4 Composite Helmet by Troy Lee Designs. I'm gonna go ahead and put this and this up, and I'll get back with you guys in a second. All right, with the helmet being in the bag and being in the duffel bag, it is now being a pain in the ass to kind of tighten it down. So I am gonna move some stuff around. I'll probably take my knee braces and put them in that other compartment next to my other gear. And I'll put my chest protector in that same compartment that the knee braces were in, just to kind of give that extra room to close that lid. Because right now, from what it looks like, the Troy Lee Designs helmet is a little bit wider than the Shoei, which prevents me from closing the lid and zipping it nicely. Oh, man, it's hot. All right, so I stood the knee braces up from horizontal to vertical, and I pushed the helmet bag over to the right, and it kind of made that little room for when I close the lid, it'll stop. There was about a six inch gap that I couldn't get the zipper to go, but the bag comes with these buckles. You loosen them up all the way, snap them in, and cinch them down, and that'll pull those lids together to close the zipper up. Now the bag's full. There is a little bit more room on the gear side of it, so it can still fit gear on that side, but the right side of the bag is completely filled, and it works perfectly for me because I don't think I'm gonna be adding anything else there. I think the next video I will be doing a complete gear put on, see how much better it was from my previous layout and how that works. And then I know you guys watched me do all these unboxings, but I'll probably be doing like a what's inside my gear bag. So stay tuned. I appreciate you guys' support. Like, comment, subscribe. Really happy to have you on this channel. And I will be linking Brian's stuff in the description again. It's a really, really tough time for him. He is also a sponsored rider with many people and I'm really, really happy for him. He needs to keep it up. Just because cancer is there doesn't mean he can't recover and keep doing what he loves and I fully support it. I will be doing a video sometime this year probably. Him and his buddies are gonna take a road trip from Pennsylvania. They're gonna drive down to Texas, stay with me for a weekend so I'll be able to go riding and do a couple moto vlogs with them and then they're gonna be making their way to California where they're gonna be doing some more riding and then on their way back, they're gonna stop by with me again and we're gonna go do some more things. Really excited for them to come down. I can't wait to show them the gear that I have. I'm sure they're gonna be really stoked. And like always, thank you guys, and you guys have a good one.